Okay, so one of the number one things that I always get asked is what I eat on keto. So I thought I'd take you through what I'm making for dinner today, which is chicken parmesan casserole. This is one of my favorites, one of my husband's favorites, so we're pretty stoked about this. So, what you're gonna need. I've already gone ahead and cooked up some chicken. So, this is two chicken breasts, and I just cooked them in my handy dandy instant pot for about 25 minutes to get it all nice and cooked. Just a little bit of salt and pepper and water, good to go. We've got our pasta sauce. Now this is some good stuff right here. This is from Safeway. And the key thing about pasta sauces is you wanna look at the ingredients. So as you can see, this is pretty keto friendly. Um, it's got some xanthan gum in there. Nothing, there's no canola oil, soybean oil, flour, blah, 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 whatever kind of oil there is, there's none in it, which is really what you want. So this is a pretty good pasta sauce. If we take a look at the nutrients here, so for half a cup, we've got six carbs, and to get your net carbs, you're always going to minus your fiber. So this is going to be five grams of carbs for half a cup. Now, you can find a variety of different sauces. The biggest keto friendly sauce I would say is Rao's tomato sauce, however, it's expensive. Your girl ain't got the money for it. So this is a great in-betweener when I don't want to spend that much money. Basil leaves, crushed red pepper, it's not chicken parmesan without parmesan cheese. Um, I'm lazy and just bought the pre-grated stuff. A little bit of red onion and last but not least mozzarella cheese so like I said I've got the chicken already done we're gonna go in and start with the sauce so it's gonna be one cup of this sauce <gasps> Then I'm going to add the red onions. Um, this is not actually a part of the recipe, but I like to add it in for just a little bit of extra flavor. So I would say it's about a tablespoon's worth of red onions. Then we're going to go in with the basil. And we're going to do half a teaspoon. Just go it right on top. And the red pepper flakes. Same thing, half a teaspoon for this as well. If you like it a little bit spicier, go ahead and add a little bit more. We'll add it just a little bit more. And then we're going to go in and add the mozzarella. So just toss that in there. And what I'm going to do now is just kind of mix it up. I like to get the cheese all nice and mixed up in the sauce before I put it in the oven so that when it melts, it's nice and cheesy all the way through, not just on the top. So I do about half the cheese in the inside and then half the cheese on top. going to add in this as well which is the parmesan cheese and we're going to do a cup of this pending I can get it open You can use the grated stuff, like the finely grated stuff, but I prefer this for this recipe. It tends to melt a little bit better, it's not as crunchy. So 
so we'll just put that in there like that. And I put the whole cup in and then I like to mix it up again. Again, that's just so that the cheese can melt nice all the way through. And then we're just going to take the remaining cheese and sprinkle that on top. Stop. So this is an optional option. Um, it's really up to you if you want to use it or not. When I first started keto, I was not a pork rind person. However, I found these barbecue ones from, from Save on Foods and they're pretty delicious. They make for a really good keto snack. If you look at the nutrition, for 27 pieces, it's got 29 grams of protein, zero carbs, that's a big one. And then you've got a good amount of fat, which is great for keto, and a pretty low calorie count, 27, or sorry, 270 calories for 27 pieces. So that's about 10 calories per piece, which is really, really awesome. So we managed to finish this bag, and I've got some crumbs left over, so I just thought I would add some on top for a little extra crunch. Like I said, this is totally optional. I normally don't make it with pork rinds, but I had some sitting around, so why not? YOLO. <laughs> yeah. Might as well make use of the whole bag. Awesome! So that's all that needs to go into there. I've preset my oven to 350, and it's going to cook for about 20-25 minutes. You essentially want the cheese to start bubbling. The chicken's already pre-cooked, so I don't have to worry about that. And at this point, I just want to get the cheese nice and bubbly and crispy. So I'm going to pop it in there. Okay, so our timer just went off. And it's ready. So I'm just going to take it out. Mm. There you guys have it. Keto chicken parmesan. Delicious.